We're in the peak of solar maximum. The most recent eruption from the sun's southeast edge was huge, releasing beautiful ribbon-shaped solar material. According to NOAA and NASA, the most recent coronal mass ejection, CME, is heading directly toward the planet Venus. In today's video, I will give you a quick update on this recent solar flares and the CME directed at planet Venus and the unpredictable nature of the sun cycle. Let's talk about the planet Venus here for a moment. Unlike here on Earth, Venus doesn't have a magnetic field, the invisible force field that helps to protect our atmosphere from the damaging effects of the sun. So no one knows how this recent CME will impact Venus, and certainly no one really knows how these sunspots and CMEs are impacting our physiology. But a number of recent studies show that these events are affecting our overall health and our human body, mind, emotions, and behaviors. An emerging body of research has linked intense solar activity and geomagnetic disturbances to many flare-ups in chronic conditions, and there was a great study that came out recently about the number of sunspots directly influencing human happiness. I have created a short video on how the solar flares and the geomagnetic disturbances impact our body, mind, and spirit, so please check it out. I will put that link below. Now let's talk a bit more about this coronal mass ejection, CME, heading directly toward the planet Venus. Venus is known in astrology for pleasure, love, romance, desire, and harmony. Our attractions and our abilities to attract happiness, love, friendships, partners, beauty, and even possessions are associated with the energy of Venus. In the coming days, I suspect many of us who pay attention to our inner atmosphere will notice subtle and not so subtle changes in how we seek inspiration and excitement and also how you attract connections and opportunities. And I suspect that the, you may also notice shifts in how you process and deal with old fear, maybe multiple fears. You might want to face and overcome your fear differently this time, especially and while the coronal mass ejection is impacting the planet Venus. August sunspots have been the largest and most intense in 23 years. NASA and NOAA make a prediction at the beginning of every solar cycle. They predicted that this solar cycle number 25, which is what we're in right now, was going to be the same size as the previous cycle, meaning not so strong or intense, and it was going to be no big deal. But this turned out to be completely wrong. I mean, completely. It's been so much bigger than expected. During this particular solar cycle, we've had more X flares, the ones with the most potential for causing damage on Earth, than we had in the entire previous cycle. So in short, we can't just go by what NASA and NOAA say and reports to us. Even though they are smart people who have the access to the most cutting edge equipment and tools for forecasting. And we also can't simply listen to predictions and forecasts astrologists share with us because there is just too many moving parts to consider. And the world we live in is simply just too unpredictable. This is another reason why we need to establish and build our internal strength and resiliency around not knowing and be okay with unforeseeable futures. Trust your own abilities to walk the world of uncertainty and the unpredictable nature of life. This is quite important as we prepare for the eclipses, this month and into the early next month. And now let's come back to solar cycle and sunspots. The largest sunspot number in the last 23 years was back in September of 2001. Yes, it was September 2001. There were 238 sunspots then. This August, the number of sunspots was 215. That's quite close to the number from September 2001. Fall of 2001 was one of the most active times in the history of solar events we've ever seen. In fact, we had the Halloween solar storm in October of 2003, and that was building up since 2001. And this happened after the peak of solar cycle 23. Scientists from NOAA and NASA thought that the peak of the solar cycle 23 was already over 
way before that October 2003. And this is really interesting. According to heliophysicist C. Alex Young, a lot of times the really interesting and intense events happen after the peak. So we may see similar pattern with the current cycle. And we may be experiencing another wave of increased solar activity this fall and into the election in the United States. I personally believe this will have a broad impact on everything from our physical health, weather, political, financial, social, and economic factors. So whatever this solar cycle will bring this fall, I suspect we will all see more fiery and blazing activities, not only on the sun's surface, but within our own lives. We will most likely experience a release of inner fires, witness crossfires and intensity of flames in various areas of our lives, both personally and globally. But like I said, no one can give you exactly when the solar flares will occur and when the peak has ended and what would happen after the peak. No one can really predict what will happen in the future. We can only find strength, resiliency, and calmness inside us to navigate through these times in our history, our lives on this earth. I wrote a short essay several years ago about the power of not knowing after experiencing my own health crisis. I will put the link below. So if you have time, I would love for you to read it and let me know your thoughts. I look forward to reading your comments on that. Don't forget to check out the video link on solar activity and geomagnetic activity affecting human physiology, mind and emotions and more. Thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing to my YouTube channel. I really appreciate you giving me a thumbs up so others can find me in the YouTube universe. And I also love reading your comments. So please leave your thoughts and I look forward to seeing you on the next video.